Hi guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and testing out some new products that I got at Ulta. I am really excited for this video because I haven't filmed a get ready with me in quite a while and I am finally getting around to doing one so I'm really happy to just sit down and get ready with all of you. I'm also in a new background. Usually when I do my makeup, I do it in my video vanity in my closet however the lighting's not the best because the window is on the side of me instead of in the front so I feel like I don't get the best lighting so I decided to film this video in the guest bedroom which is where I typically film like my sit down videos and it's perfect because I can sit right in front of the window and I get a lot of natural light I also have some studio lights so hopefully the setup is okay but let's get right on into this video I'm gonna start by putting on my little head band which is from Ulta. I'm gonna look really crazy at first but we're gonna transform. I like this headband a lot because it's really secure and it just keeps all of my hair back. I know the bow is actually supposed to be in the back but we're just gonna have it in the front. I kind of like the neon vibes going on so let's just get right into this makeup. I have about like an hour to get ready so let's do it. I'm getting really hot because this is so cute but it's super thick and the light is so strong but we're gonna get ready nonetheless. I have so many things to talk to you guys about so I figured this video was like the perfect way to sit down and do that while I try out some new products which if you guys know me I use like the same makeup products all the time when I like something I use it consistently don't get me wrong I love makeup I'm not a makeup guru or anything like that so I don't know about like the latest products so I'm not like at Ulta or Sephora frequently trying out new things so when I do get makeup, it's nice because I don't really try new things that often But the first thing that I want to try out is actually I lied So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Luminizing Glotion I really like this a lot because it makes your skin super glowy and I just want to see how the products work all together I have used this one before and it just literally makes your skin super nice and glowy. I did already moisturize and apply some sunscreen, which is so super important. And this just kind of gives you that extra glow. Next, I'm trying out a new product, which is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have seen a lot of people use this. My best friend is actually the one that put me on. And I got the shade 3, light medium. And I feel like it might be a little too dark for me. But hopefully it's not because I do not feel like going to Ulta to return this. But I'm going to just start by putting just some all over my face. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is like a glow foundation. I don't really think it's foundation though. I honestly don't really know. <laughs> so we're just gonna see what it does. I do like the applicator. I like the doe foot. That's my personal favorite. So let's just go ahead and blend this out. Okay, so it's not as dark as I thought it would be, which is good. Right now, I'm very, very pale. I <laughs> need a tan desperately. So it's good that I'm going on vacation so I can get that nice tan. But I thought this one might be too dark. But the reason why I got a little darker is because I figured that while I'm on vacation, I would be getting a tan and I wanted my foundation and stuff to match and not be super pale. Okay, so right off the bat, it blends really easily and it definitely is more of a like glow enhancer which I don't mind I don't know if I applied enough so I'm gonna just apply a little bit more I just was scared because I've never used this before I know some people like to use this like as a foundation which is great or perfect if you're doing like an everyday super easy like glowy look yeah I really like this it's very very glowy like right off the bat my skin is definitely definitely glowing. I do have some coverage, but it's very, very minimal. It's definitely not like a foundation or anything, which is why I got it. And yeah, looking in the mirror, it's super pretty and I think it works really well with the L'Oreal product that I just used. I do have drier skin, so making my skin as glowy as I can be is definitely a must. 
So this is definitely a yes for me. I really, really like it. I mean, you guys can see right now I look really glowy. So that's amazing. I did get another product from e.l.f., which is the Camo CC Cream. And I have not used a CC Cream in I don't even know how long. And I tried it out in my bathroom. I think it might be a little too dark, but I'm going to apply just a little bit and maybe we can make it work. I'm just going to apply that much and we'll see what happens. Yeah, so this one is definitely more full coverage. Okay, so this one definitely has some coverage. It is a CC cream. I would say that it is a light to medium coverage, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Shade I got doesn't seem to be too bad. It actually looks nice, and I feel like with the tan, it'll look good too. And it's really easy to blend. I used to love CC creams, and then I just stopped using them, and now I guess I'm back to using them, and I really like it. Yeah, oh my god, my skin looks so good. It looks super hydrating and it's so easy to blend. Like, do you guys see that? My forehead always scares me because I have such a small forehead that it just gets everywhere and I hate it. Okay, I think that's blended out pretty nicely. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, you guys, so definitely am liking the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It is like the perfect coverage, light to medium, and I feel like if you applied more, because I applied a really a small amount, you could definitely get a lot more coverage, but this is perfect for like a day-to-day -day look. I am filming today, so I'm not going out, so I am probably gonna apply a little bit more makeup, but on the day, I feel like this is really good. All right, next I'm gonna try out the e.l.f. Halo glow contour and i've been really obsessed with the oogie contour lately which is a stick contour this is a liquid one which i actually have never used and i've heard really great things about it my best friend jameson is actually the one that put me on we had a trip where he was using these products oh oh no Ugh. that is way too much oh my god hold on hold on you guys Okay, so now I know. Little goes a very long way. All right, I'm going to use my contour brush to blend this out. I have a feeling that I applied way too much. I did not mean for that much to come out. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. All right, we're really going to blend this. Okay, it doesn't blend as scary. Okay, that's good. Little definitely goes a long way. And now I know that. Oh crap, I applied too much. Hold on, you guys. I'm just going to dab some of this off because I applied a little bit too much. So I'm just going to really blend this out. I think I also got a shade too dark for me because they didn't have a lighter one. And I shouldn't have gotten it then because this is way too much. If I just applied a small amount, it would have been fine. I'm just trying to blend this out as much as I possibly can. And don't worry, I will be fixing this with a lot of concealer. Okay, so the more I blend it, the better it looks. It still looks very muddy, and that is so my fault. I applied way too much of this product, but I'm going to blend it out as much as I possibly can, and then I'm going to be fixing this with a new concealer that I got, so please bear with me. This has literally never happened to me. I've also never used a liquid contour before, and now I know how to use one because I just made a really big mistake. This is looking better already okay this is fine we're gonna make this work okay so i like the product definitely a little too dark for me little goes a long way now i know literally a dot is more than enough so i'm gonna be using the instant age rewind concealer that i just showed you and i am going to test this out i have not used this since probably middle school i am really just gonna fix this mess over here let's blend this out let's see how it looks okay so much better and it's the perfect shade too. Okay, this side of my face is looking so much better than before. Oh my god, this concealer is so nice. But I love this concealer. This one is in the shade 120 Light. And I did get a light concealer because, you know, regardless of if I have a tan or not, I do want a nice light under eye. And this one is not creasing, which is great because my e.l.f. one, oh my god, it would crease like the moment I would put it on. And this one isn't doing that, so I like it. It's also super creamy, so that's a yes from me. So now that my base is all finished, I'm going to go in with some powder, which will also lighten up my face. And this is the L'Oreal one. And I'm just going to 
kind of go crazy here to really matte my face. So today I am filming a ton of videos. I think I have like five different videos to film because I leave for Portugal in a few days. So I wanted to have a ton of videos like ready to go to post while I'm on my vacation. Of course, I will be vlogging. However, I just knew that you know, I when I'm on vacation, I want to be, you know, in the present, doing so much with my family and like being in the moment. And, you know, of course, I will be vlogging, but I didn't ha want to worry about having to like film and post while I was there. So I just wanted to have some videos like ready to go. I always do that whenever I go on vacation because it's just a lot easier for me and it just works for me, so that is what I'm doing today. It is currently 11.30. I have three, I'm sorry, I have a Shein haul to film, I have a collective haul to film, and I also have a what's in my summer bag to film, and then there's a fourth one, oh, this video right here, and I think that's it. So those are all the videos that I wanna get done today. And I feel like I can do it before four, so let's pray and hope that that gets done. But the base of my makeup is looking good, not looking scary anymore, which is good. So I'm going to go in with some powder now for my bronzer. And I'm going to be very careful with this because I don't want to go back to looking super dark. Oh, and I also have been filming a packing video. So I've been filming me packing my luggage for my trip to Portugal and it's been super fun. I basically like try on outfits with you guys and you basically get a sneak peek as to what I'm going to be wearing on my trip. But by the time you guys see that video, I'll already be on my vacation. So you'll probably be seeing the outfits already in real time. And I love filming packing packing videos. I just think it's really fun and I like to take pictures of my outfits so that I know when I'm there like what my outfits look like all together. But I'm just going to be doing some powder blush instead. But yeah, so I'm really excited to go on vacation. Like I said, I'm going to Portugal. I am Portuguese, so I'm really excited to see my grandma. She does live here, like with me, like in our state in New Jersey, but she also for like half of the year from time to time will live in Portugal because she has house there and i'm really excited to see her she's there now um last time i saw her i think it was yeah may so it's been a while and you know of course we facetime and we talk there but i'm excited to see her in person i know she's so happy that we're all going and i can't wait to see her so all good things and i'm just really excited to go we you know haven't traveled as a family in a while we go every year i'm just applying some highlight now even though i really don't feel like i need it because my face is super glowy right now but we're just gonna do it my face is looking super snatched you guys all right I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my brows I have a new brow product so let me get a tissue so that I can wipe the powder off of them and then we'll go ahead and do it I just went ahead and wiped off the products on my lips and my brows and I'm trying a new brow product. So I have been using the Anastasia pomade for a very long time. Before I used this, I did use to use a pencil uh, brow product and I loved it. It was the one from Benefit, but it was a little expensive. Like I think it was like $25 and I had to constantly rebuy it like every like three weeks. So basically like once a month. And I don't know, it just wasn't worth it to me. Like I just, I use this like constantly and it was so much like $40 like come on that's a lot so I started using the pomade I've had this for a long time it's 18 bucks I think and it has lasted me like years it's probably expired but whatever so I got this one from NYX this one was a lot cheaper I don't remember the price a few dollars I think and I liked it in the store when I swatched it on my fingers so we're gonna try and use this today so I'm gonna just go ahead and brush my brows and I'm just gonna use this and see what happens haven't used a pencil in a while so let's see how this goes you guys <laughs> i don't like that i don't like the pencil it's it's too dark and i don't like the way that it just laid all right i'm taking this off and i'm returning this i did not like that at all i'm just gonna go ahead and take it off yeah i mean like I don't know maybe it's because I haven't used a pencil in a while or if it's because I know how to use the pomade but I just didn't really like 
how it laid right there so i'm just gonna go ahead and use my normal pomade it just is easier for me so let me just do that off camera my brows look a little wonky just because I tried this over the pomade or under the pomade, but I didn't like this. I think it's because I got this in black and I know that my brows are black, but it's like a very, very dark black and I don't like how dark it made them. And also I felt like, and this is like so weird, but it was so pigmented and like strong that it just looked fake if that makes sense and i don't like that so the pomade is also in black the shade that i have but it's kind of like a light black so it goes on really smoothly and i like the applicator better because i can make it less dark so i just am going to return the pencil it wasn't really a favorite of mine for me personally so i mean it is what it is but i did however get a nyx brow gel i have one from sephora like the sephora collection one but i ran out so i'm going to use this one from nyx and i'm sure it'll be just fine oh yeah this is nice perfect awesome okay so this i'm gonna keep just a brow gel and now i'm just gonna go ahead and just brush out my lashes so that i can start doing my mascara so the mascara that i'm using is from babe original and i've used it before but it is a fairly new mascara for me because i just started using it okay so i had to fix the lashes a little bit because this one is makes your lashes very spidery which i like but i like them to look more full so typically what i usually do is apply this one from babe original first and then this one but i didn't do that but it's fine honestly now i know i have to use both so i'm just gonna go ahead and do my lips i'm just using this milani lip liner i'm gonna use the merit beauty lipstick and then some merit beauty lip oil and then i'll come back with my lip transformation the liner is done next for my lipstick there's literally a small spider crawling in the wall in front of me. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, I just killed the spider. Ew, gross. I like to apply the oil to my finger because I don't want to ruin the applicator. And it just makes it really oily and shiny and it looks really good and flattering. All right, so there we have the finished makeup look. Let me give you guys my final thoughts on the products that we used today. So I really liked the e.l.f. liquid filter this was definitely my favorite product my skin is very very hydrated and glowy i've never used a like glowy like cc cream product before and i really like this it says here that you can use it like on its own for like a more effortless like no makeup makeup look or you can mix it in with your foundation like as a highlighter i really liked this the most and i'm really excited to bring this on with me on vacation so i definitely will be bringing that next i use the L CC cream and I really liked this as well it was like the perfect coverage exactly what I was looking for I wanted a liquid like foundation type product because I've been using stick which I also really like but I just wanted something more hydrating it worked really well with the glow enhancer that we use from elf so definitely gonna be keeping this as well and bringing this with me on vacation and then the other product that we use was the elf contour I obviously applied way too much I've never used used it before i also did get the tan deep shade i wanted the one underneath it i think it was like a medium shade but they didn't have it so i just got this so now i know in the future to apply the tiniest amount kind of like the rare beauty blush so now i know to do that going forward i still made it work and it looked great but moving forward i know a little goes a long way so i will be keeping this because i did like it and then the other new product we used was the nyx brow pencil i did not like this this. again i'm not sure if it's because i haven't used a pencil in a very long time it's literally been probably like a year or more that i've used a pencil and it really wasn't my favorite even though it's black i just didn't think it would be that dark and it was way too like fake looking i just didn't like it my personal opinion i prefer the anastasia pomade which is kind of ironic because you would think that wouldn't suit me but i like it because i feel like with the applicator you can blend it out more and it doesn't look as dark my brows are already thick and dark enough so I don't want to like enhance that so I didn't like this I will be returning um, but I did like the NYX 
brow gel. I mean, it's like a regular brow gel and it's nice to finally have one since I ran out of my other one a while ago. So I will be keeping this. I also like a little trick I like to do after applying the brow gel is I actually like to brush my brows out one more time because I feel like after you apply the gel, it makes it look a little hard and stiff. But then once you brush it out, it gives it more of like an effortless look, but then they still stay in place. So that's like my little trick. So yeah, overall, I think the makeup looked really great. I like how glowy it looks and I love it. So everything was great just gonna be returning that pencil so let me bring down my hair and then we'll close out this video okay you guys that is the end of this video I just went ahead and fixed my hair I also cut my hair myself yesterday like nothing major I just literally snipped the ends of both sides and then a little bit of my bangs my curtain bangs because my hair has gotten so long i haven't gotten a haircut since november and i literally forgot to make an appointment and my hairstylist was just booked and then they were closed because they went on vacation so i was like i'm not going to be able to get a haircut before i leave and it just needed like a little trim so i did that so i think it looks fine it's probably not perfect so yeah i apologize if it wasn't really like a chit chat get ready with me i just was so focused on like the new makeup that i got and yeah so i'm glad it went well i like the new look you will be seeing like my summer glow look when i get in portugal i'm sure i'll do like a get ready with me um but that's it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll link the new products that i received or that i got down below if you are interested and yeah i love you guys so that is it for me today. Please don't forget to like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in my next video very soon. Bye.